It was October 1985 when Humphrey the Wayward Whale first appeared in the San Francisco Bay. He began a 26-day odyssey that eventually took the humpback through the Carquinez Straits and up the Sacramento River. Poor Humphrey wallowed pitifully in shallow water while scientists and animal lovers from all over the country tried to figure out how to turn him back toward the ocean. The tiny town of Rio Vista was turned into a major tourist attraction overnight. Whale watchers poured in to get a glimpse of Humphrey. Not only was he studied, but people made music for him as well. Humphrey, you're our friend. But now the story has to end. Finally, metal pipes turned the tide for Humphrey. A flotilla of small boats herded him back to the ocean, banging pipes underwater. And somehow, Humphrey seemed to know he was being saved. Whenever we slowed down, he was right under us or alongside us. Uh, he was, at one point, I mentioned over the radio that he was eating the barnacles off our hull, and it's <laughs> not exactly an exaggeration. On his final day in the bay, the whale was full of fight, leaping into the air, almost saying farewell as he swam out, just after dusk, under the Golden Gate Bridge. He was heading for life among his own kind, but he left thousands of friends behind. He's made an image for Rio Vista, and he put us on the map. Yeah, I think probably you saw history made here. Maybe it'll never happen again.